wrong though. Um, the um, Gotham Bermuda part, completely wrong. Everything else, I think it's fine. I, the Yarrow part is right, except for the art they did for the Yarrow. Cause that was so much. Yeah, I love the the event is a cafe, uh, it's called the White Owl Cafe. The uh, event is located in the Largo Student Center at Prince George's Community College in the area commonly known as the Hollow Tree. Uh, Origin Anime Club's major event is a maid cafe. It, well, it's not exactly a maid cafe, it's based off of a maid cafe. We've called them cosplay cafes in the past, but it's basically a maid cafe. Well, most cafes, if you would say American cafe, this cafe is inspired by Japanese culture. Being part of the anime club, we, we tend to uh, do things that sort of, uh, sort of way. A uh, maid cafe is a special type of restaurant, specifically in Japan, which have become popular in Ameri it, at anime conventions in the U.S. and other countries such as Europe, where basically all the servers are dressed up as maids and or butlers, depending on the ones you go to. Some are just maids, some are just butlers, but those servers make an atmosphere, I would say, an atmosphere of like the customers coming home and the maids are there to serve them. In some of the cafes you can go to, they'll give you back massages and things like that too. Well, the, the idea came up about a year ago when, I, uh, when one of the former presidents uh, thought it would be a great idea to do it. And we all jumped on an idea, and we've been doing it at least once a semester ever since, and it's always been a great uh, turnout and everything. And it's just a really good uh, event because it shows off Japanese culture. A lot of people see as being college students, it'd be nice to have an outlet somewhere to chill during during like exam week or mid midterms or anything. And this gives them an opportunity to chill out, have fun. They also get to see a little bit of Asian culture and the things that we uh, as a club enjoy. And it's always just fun. Well, this is the Anime Club's biggest event of the year. Like, we have more than like 30 people, 40 people lined up at a time just to come in. This is an event where we uh, give out free food, so at any college campus, it would be a big deal. But the thing is that we almost never have enough room. We never have enough staff. But one of the big, biggest parts of this is the planning stage, because we don't know how we're going to do things at first and all the uh, uh, adversities that come up. We had, we had to change the room at least twice because of other uh, scheduling conflicts, but we, I'm actually kind of happy of where the room ended up. We ended up taking one of the biggest spaces in the school. And another thing, as always, is the budget and money. Uh, having, having a school-funded organization is actually kind of difficult to get things approved for uh, said cafes and everything. And a lot of people actually have to put up their own money and get refunds in order to do such events. But I think we did a great job given what we had, and it was a wonderful uh, event that we had to show. Originally, we were trying to get actual made costumes that you would find at anime conventions around the country, such as Otakon and Katsukon, but unfortunately, we were not able to get those. So what we have done in the past and what we did this time was tell people that the color scheme was black and white, which would be a white top, black pants. But this year, we told them that it was somewhat of a masquerade theme, so we said, do black and white, but do it elegantly. Originally, we had set it up so there was a program of one hour, I want to say, program of one hour where we had guests come in and we would have a seating time for of 20 minutes where the maids and butlers would entertain them. Once that 20 minutes was over, we went on to the actual show. And the actual show had dancing, music videos, anime music videos, which are just scenes from anime synced to popular music, sometimes unpopular music. Hi, how's it going? Come into our main cafe.
Hello, my name is Kauru, and my Moe charm is Phaser Set to Yum, Captain. Ahaya, uh, Malice Chan here. If you want to see my love charm, this is how it goes. Moe, 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 I hurt you. Hi, I'm Ikara, and this is how I trash my food. Boom, boom. Hi, I'm Koda, and may your food be electrified. Shut on it! I believe that this will probably be one of the things that we do at least once a semester and every year at the school, and it'll probably be an ongoing thing even after many of us are long gone. Um, I would like to do a different theme next time. I think that would be really cool. Also, I believe that we had uh, the shows were a little bit too long. A lot of people who wanted to come didn't get to because we had uh, after the show they were already in their next class and things. I believe we should. Uh, and one thing I would also like maybe uh, more tables and more people involved so that we can get as many people as possible in so no one gets to miss out. But it was, uh, I believe that we did a really good job considering what we had, and I believe that uh, everyone did an amazing job. All the maids, all the butlers, even the security who were basically dancing around and having fun with everyone else did an excellent job, and I'm very proud of everyone. Um, I definitely think the actual hosting was successful. The program, I'm not exactly sure was successful because it was just, it kind of seemed like we were just playing videos in the background. We didn't really get to call attention to it because we didn't really write up and decide what one was supposed to say. And we definitely need to plan that. Most memorable moment would definitely be everybody dancing to Be My Baby. Be My Baby was a music video we saw most of us went to see at Otakon 2013 at a panel called Awesomely Bad Japanese Music Videos. And our host, Juan Tansu, absolutely loved this song. So we play it for him. 
And whenever we play for him, everybody just has a blast. And that definitely was a great moment of the cafe. <laughs> moment of the day for me was when around the end we were all uh, there was a song that came on we were all just dancing around having fun it was a really a uh, good time like everyone got to cut loose and also another thing to add on uh, to which was probably my favorite time was when we all cleaned up and we were all done everybody got to kick back have fun just eat some of the food that uh, they were serving all day I know they're happy about that and just like, just compare each other on the back and congratulate themselves because we did, pulled off one hell of an event. So